welcome back to Semojo Homestead. I'm Jeremy. This is my wife, Cass. We are so glad that you are joining us this week. We've got some just some kind of small, laid back things we're doing this weekend. It's been a really hectic weekend, so yeah, we're taking kind of a laid back approach to homesteading. Yes, <laughs> yeah, getting some seeds started. No, we yes. are a little bit late. We already have two of these trays already started. Uh, we'll check on those later in this video because I'm curious to see how they're doing. I have personally not checked on them. I have checked. Oh, so it's a surprise to me. Cast may may know what to expect, but why don't you you want to talk about what we're planting? Okay, in this? yeah. So we've already planted our tomatoes and our peppers. Peppers mm -hmm. take a long time to germinate, so we wanted to get those in first. Yes, we also have basil started yes. and nasturtiums, nasturtiums because they take a long time as well. The nasturtiums we planted before or we started before our squash because every time I've planted them together in the garden, the squash outgrows the nasturtiums yeah. so we wanted to get those going but so the reason we're doing nasturtiums is because they are a trap crop mm -hmm. for squash the yeah. squash bugs and other insects will flock to them so while they're really pretty we are planting them not so much for the beauty mm -mm. but for a trap crop to try to get a lot of those insects and onto those yeah. to alleviate some of that pressure that we always get on our squash yeah so we have some of your regular yellow summer squash I got this from Jess at Roots and Refuge. It's a scallop squash, which I, it looks. That was gonna be really fun. Yeah, I really like the, I mean, I like the idea of this. It looks like it's maybe a little yet, a little bigger than the yellow one. Like patty pan? The patty pan, Ford Hook Zucchini. Zucchini squash from MI Gardener. We also got these from Jess over at Roots and Refuge. Yes. These are micro dwarf tomatoes, so they they're all determinate and they're all grape tomato size so we've got fat frog little red riding hood these all have fun names too. yeah orange hat so we're gonna be planting these and my plan is to use my green stalk for i love how we claim them yeah but you know i've got one she has one they were gifted to us right <laughs> Yeah. But I want to try these. I want to load up my green stalk with these and see because these only get a foot tall. So they stay really sturdy, really bushy. Um, they don't get, they're not like a vining tomato uh, yeah. like your traditional tomatoes. So I'm thinking they're going to work really well in right. the green stalk. And we do have the trellis system if we need to if we put need that it. on yes. there. Yes. Some other squash variety, more, more of your like winter squash, um, which... Last year we grew some and we got some, but we weren't really diligent about hardening them off so they could last through the winter. We pretty pretty much had to eat them or lose them. So we have some Blue Hubbard, my favorite, Delicata, some Butternut, and Trombuccino, which I thought they did, did really, really well. well. And we have some Candy Roaster Squash, which I really enjoyed the Candy Roaster. And this one is supposed to be able to hold up to their squash boards yes. much better. Not it Either it doesn't really attract them or right. it just is able to kind of continue to survive yeah i don't and, know and we bought a candy roaster last yep. year and it was very very good yeah yeah so, so let's get back yeah so one exciting thing that happened this week is we got trees taken down for yes. the greenhouse yes uh they came out earlier the week we um have a, we have a connection one of our friends works for alpine tree service and they've done some other tree work for us they do a great job would highly recommend them if you are in like the columbia area just really good professional tree company that um is i feel like fairly reasonable especially for being insured and all of that stuff so anyway they came took out two of the trees that we needed to be take that we needed taken out there are at least two more trees that need to come down but now that those bigger pine trees are gone I feel confident in us just cutting those other two down maybe three i'm still debating and can start kind of forming up the foundation and stuff for the greenhouse. So I'm hoping to be able to get to that next weekend. Almost will be fire season. Almost fire season? Yeah. We're actually almost out of fire season. You mean to have a fire outside? To like camp? Yeah. To have a camp uh, fire? Outside fire, yeah. We're kind of getting into that. It has been like in the pushing 80s. <laughs> every day yeah so everything's like budding out around us way early we're gonna get these finished up though and then we will take you guys to check on the other two trays that have been planted for a week two weeks something like that so yeah i'm excited all right so we are gonna go check on these seeds over here in the garden and then 
I found some artichokes that we are gonna plant. Um, so we're gonna do that and probably do that while we do highs and lows. So let's go check these seedlings. They're coming up. Castia, give me a heads up. She said that they were sprouting, but that's so exciting. What are these? We have um, peppers, which I'm surprised. It looks like our peppers are sprout sprouting already. Yeah. And then so these are the peppers. These Puma. 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 We got a lot of Puma. I know. These are Cayennes. Cayennes. They had none of those have started. Uh -huh. And then those are all tomatoes. These are. Too. This is basil. That's not peppers. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because I, I can look uh, at those and tell they're yeah, basil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are basil. So, yeah, okay, cool. So, a lot of basil coming up. So, that's good. Yeah. And then these are all tomatoes, tomatoes. in this one, right? Yeah. Nice. And one side is all Roma. I think it's that side over there. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, the, this pan, you lost the label for the tomatoes. But we know that they're all tomatoes, right, so it's not right. that big of a deal. We well, just don't really know the varieties. It'll be a little bit like roulette, but you know. I mean, they're going to be planted, at least the plant is, all over the garden yes. anyway. Yeah. The biggest thing is as long as we know which ones are the green ones. Mm, we may not know that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So <laughs> you said something about the tea garden? Yeah. So I'm really excited because I really thought after that freeze, we would have lost everything. So you want to do a tea garden update? I would love to do a tea garden update. All right. So like I said, I'm really excited because I really thought we were going to have to replace everything. But let me just show you how exciting this garden is. So we have um, yarrow. Look at all of this yarrow coming up. And then we have hyssop. And then look at this fig while I'm passing it. Jeremy just like put this on the ground and put dirt on top and it's growing crazy anyway and we have mint in all these pots and then we have some lemon verbena and more mint another lemon verbena more mint look at my lavender this i was really worried about the lavender and so i put a container on top of it and made like a little makeshift greenhouse over it and it's doing so well and then we also have some chamomile coming up it's real hard to see but it's a down there I'm really excited about the chamomile because last year we actually got it planted too late so we didn't actually get any and what is this artichoke let's go plant <gasps> artichoke garden snack <laughs> all right so we are doing artichokes in pots because we are kind of borderline for their hardiness zone. Uh, so we just wanna be able to bring them into the greenhouse when it gets cold in yeah. the winter time. Yeah. So we need them to be mobile. I think we are gonna try at least one in ground because yeah. I mean, in this one pot, we, there's several in there. So we're gonna split and divide and, and yeah, we'll see what it does. Yeah. So. Yep. So artichokes are one of those things that I've always wanted to grow. I grew up eating artichokes. I grew up in California, so Artichokes wasn't something we got all the time, but they were such a treat when we got them. So, my goal is to be able to grow my own. Yeah, so we're gonna see how these go yep. through this year. Um, all right, so highs and lows? Highs and lows. All right. So we're gonna do this while we try to separate these somewhat gingerly. My high for the week was that both um, Josiah and Mariah had something kind of special today josiah had his first baseball game so that was fun yeah did you have fun yeah first game first game of the season and he got his new jersey and got introduced i didn't get to see that because i was at mariah's um, history presentation they do they have to dress up as someone in history and and do a whole display board and um, share a monologue and talk, teach about their character. Um, I got to go to that this morning while he was getting his jersey and being introduced. But that was really fun. Just seeing both of them kind of do those things was really fun. And I don't really have a low. It was a good week. The girls um, got their schoolwork done early every day. Uh, I got to work on the show for our, at our studio. Like it was a really good week. I didn't. That's have good. A low. Yeah. Wow. Good. Yeah. All right, I'm going to bring this thing around. Oh. <laughs> We're going to do one in here too. Yeah. All right. So let me pull this guy out. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is pig food right here. Yeah. This is a collard that we just kind of planted in here for decorative sake and it went to flower. So, um, yeah, for me, my high and low. This has been a really good week. Um, I have several highs and I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't think that I have a low. So yeah. uh, one of my highs was today, Joe's first game. I'm helping out with coaching with his team. So that was a lot of fun to get the season started. Um, also that we got baby chicks. Oh uh, yeah. That was definitely another high of mine. And that the trees came down for the greenhouse because yeah. it's like the first kind of phase of yeah. getting that greenhouse done and everything so and i thought of another high for me last night for dinner we took the kids to one of those japanese restaurants where they cook in front of you jeremy and i've been several times but we have not taken the kids in a very long time this is yeah. joe's first time experiencing a restaurant like this and it was so much fun watching them have fun and then, joe joe you want to do it yeah. why don't you come up here yeah so they can hear you so what's your high? My high for the week was um, our friends staying here for some for a week. John. John. John stayed yeah. here for yeah. a week. And my low was that he had to leave today to house it. And I didn't have any more. No more? <laughs> no more. No more. <laughs> your game wasn't a high? Uh, my game was high and uh, getting my jersey. Yeah. Yeah. What team are you? The Braves. That's right, right yeah. here. So John and Joe have formed quite the bond. Yes. So they have had a lot of fun together, especially Joe, yes. with having John around. So John is coming back. He is just house sitting for a week. So that is all we have for you for this video. Thank you for hanging out with us. Be sure you like or subscribe if you haven't already and comment. We would love to know if you are seed starting anything or if you already have seed starting. Hopefully seed you already have because yes, we're, we're late to the party. For zone eight <laughs> yeah. or for South Carolina, yeah, the, we, we're at the kind of late end of starting some of these seeds. Yeah. Have a great week and be blessed. <laughs>